Hey guys, it's Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. I am here to tell you that I just spent the last, let's see, I don't know, a little over half a day at the Houston International Quilt Festival and it did not disappoint. It's so good. I enjoyed it. I have lots of pictures and stuff to share with you. I don't have it all ready to upload right now. You're going to see some more updates coming this next week along with all of the fun things that I found and I bought. I'm going to do kind of a reveal of like my shopping trips, what I did, the classes that I took and everything. But today's video, I want to share with you some tips. Okay. If you ever come visit Houston, first of all, tell me that you're coming to Houston and coming to the Quilt Fest and I would love to see you. I got to see a couple people today at the Quilt Festival. I have my, I have my button on. See, see, I have my button. That's me. I see stars quilting and um, yes, I'm in my car right now because it's the end of the day and I'm tired. I went through a lot of rows. I didn't even get to the quilts today. It's a multi-day event okay if you do it all in one day you're going to be exhausted by the end of the day and it does it runs pretty late i think i don't know exactly what time they close but um it runs all day and um to get i got through probably about half of the shopping and the vendors which i'm going to show you a couple pictures of that right now so you can see kind of like what i'm talking about what i'm mentioning there's a ton of shops a ton of vendors um i saw shops from um, the Japanese fabrics are back this year. I'm so excited. Um, I saw shops from Australia. I saw shops from Ontario. Um, I saw shops from France too. There was some French fabrics. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, good, good quality fabrics. There's also some fabrics from Africa too. So, um, when I say international quilt festival, it is international quilt festival. Now I'm going to do a whole video on all of the quilts that are being shown too. So today's video is going to be uh, tips if you're going to one of these shows or if you're going to a large quilt show not necessarily like this but if you're going to quilt con in February I will be there in February I'm so excited we're going to Atlanta and um, things you need to remember while you're doing this so one wear comfortable shoes okay there's so many people at the quilt show who need to look cute and you can look cute obviously ta-da <laughs> this is it, okay? This is this is fun. This is cute. I have I have a little star necklace on. See? Cute, right? I still look cute. You wear cute, but wear comfortable shoes because it is a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Um check on what type of bags you're allowed to bring in. The quilt festival here does not allow rolling bags unless you have like a um doctor's note I guess or a, a medical release okay you're not supposed to have the rolling bags imagine so many people walking around with those rolling bags and people tripping over the rolling bags okay that's why they don't allow the rolling bags now if you are a lucky mom who happens to bring your baby in your stroller then you have something to carry your stuff with and it's not going to get tripped over right um I personally like wearing my backpack because it's does not um, stick out as far as like a bag on your shoulder does you know you know when you like whip around and you can knock somebody out <laughs> with your shoulder bag or your big giant purse right that's what you don't want to do so um think about weight weaving through a crowd like a really really busy crowd you don't want to make yourself any like wider so i like wearing a backpack and my backpack has like multiple little um, zipper spots in it so I know exactly where my wallet is, exactly where my phone is, and then I have space to keep my stuff. Now a lot of the vendors will also give you shopping bags as just kind of a courtesy and a, you know, thanks for shopping with us, but I always tuck those in my backpack. And now if I end up buying something much bigger, there are ways that you can go to the front of the show and hold it there until the end of the day or a lot of the vendors will put it like underneath the table and you just have to remember to go back and get it at the end of the day in the class that i took this morning it was freezing it was so cold like i was having a hard time sewing because it was a hand stitch class i took an embroidery class this morning it was really really fun i loved it so much actually here i have um the project that i was working on so we're just doing some little like sample stitches in here isn't that pretty so I learned these little sample stitches this morning and um, it was freezing in that class, but I wanted to be comfortable because, you know, this is just, Houston's hot, 
Okay, Houston's always hot. So um, I wore this shirt, like sweater that's very nice and comfortable, and then some capris and my tennis shoes. If you don't like tennis shoes and you wanna be cute, that's up to you, but it's a lot of walking. Credit card is always easier, okay? Um, a lot of people do shop with cash because they have a set budget in mind, okay? But as far as like from a vendor perspective, credit card is always easier because they don't have to count out change. They don't have to um, trust their employees to make sure and get the math right because a lot of these vendors are doing like just sale after sale after sale after sale and you want to make sure that you don't hand out the incorrect amount of change. So credit card is always easier for the vendors unless they specify that cash is better. If you're at a smaller quilt show, they may want to do cash because of the credit card. Another tip is bring your snacks. <laughs> um, this quilting show, the International Quilt Fest, does have vendors, like food vendors, and um, they're great, okay? They're great, but you have to leave the quilt floor, go over to the food side because they don't want you munching on snacks and rubbing your hands on all the fabric, right? So they want you to stay very, very clean. And so you have to leave the quilt floor, go over and have your lunch or whatever, and then walk back. If you have a snack um, or like a piece of candy or something is really, really good, I always pack Skittles in my bag. One, because I love Skittles and I don't get to eat them that often. And so it's kind of like a treat. And two, because when your blood sugar is starting to drop and you're like, um, I, I want to finish this row. <laughs> I want to finish this row before I go and eat my lunch and have a break. Pop a few Skittles in your mouth and keep going, okay? Um, they do allow water bottles most of the time in the quilt shows. So um, bring a water bottle with you, but make sure it has a closed lid, okay? Because you're, you're in an area that they definitely do not want any food. Now on the side with the quilts that I'll show you later on in this week in the videos, there is no food and no water and there's no touching of the quilts, none, because these are show pieces and how many people come through and actually like touch these quilts, um, it would just, it would be disastrous. And um, these are pieces that people have worked really, really hard on. So there's no food and no drinks on that side and they're very strict on it. But on the vendor side, you just can't eat right there. You can't carry your lunch around, just germs in general. And so um, the different types of booths that you'll find, there's a bunch of them. There's fabric booths, there's um, clothing booths, there's scissors, there's scissor sharpening, there's jewelry booths, there's even like, um, there's a back massager booth. I mean, I found that it was full of husbands. <laughs> the booth was full of husbands, so. I don't know if that's like genius or um, if they really like thought that through. They probably did. They knew that like all these women have come in here with their husbands to go shopping and we are going to get the husbands. We're going to find something that they want and we're going to massage their back and make them feel good and um, hopefully they'll buy one of our massage chairs, right? So um, there's also all the different like quilt machine vendors there too. I saw Janome, I saw um, APQS, I saw Bernina, I saw Gamel was there, uh, Brother was there. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Um, Innova. Who else was there? I saw like an old um, like antique singer repair um, booth there that had different parts and things. I can't think. I think that was that was most of them at least. Um, that was really fun to see. I, I I love seeing all of the different machines at work and you can test them out right there on the floor. If you're looking for a new machine, that's a really good time to go, okay? Um, anyways, today has been really, really good. I have enjoyed it so much. Take into account those tips when you're going. Dress comfortably, get ready to shop, make your profile as uh, you know, slim as possible. Like you don't want an extra bag that you're hauling behind you because it's for safety reasons, okay? Um, if you end up needing a like scooter or a um, wheelchair or something, a lot of times the bigger facilities will provide those. You just have to call ahead and reserve one of those if you're not able to do a lot of the walking. Make sure you have somebody to push you to because that's, that's, um, it's, it's very hard through all the crowd. Also heads up if you're a mama and you have any ability to leave your kids at home, 
while you go to these quilt shows and the larger shows and it's um the big big shows are not they're family friendly i will say that but your kids gonna get bored pretty fast because there's not a lot of interaction for the little kids if you're going to a smaller family um oriented show for a smaller town or just a smaller event maybe a local quilt show then yes family is good but um let's see this international quilt fest here in houston is the second largest show that the city of houston does it is only underneath the oil and gas show which is ginormous in the convention center in houston so um it's a lot of people it takes a lot of time um I would suggest going multiple days if possible if you can have that time to come here for several days enjoy the city enjoy the food that we have to offer we have so much um, authentic food anything you could think of authentic it's it's here in Houston we have amazing food and enjoy the city enjoy the sights enjoy the parks and also kind of break up your day so you're not just solid you know quilt show shopping the entire time and um, I really hope that you have an opportunity to come and view it next year. It is always around Halloween. So um, sometimes it's on Halloween. Sometimes it's the weekend after Halloween. Um, just depending on where Halloween falls. But um, make sure that you do try and come out here someday. I would love to see you. I'm going to be sharing more videos this week on the stuff that I found. The fabrics. More pictures from this show. And... Um, <sighs> lots and lots of details so thank you for watching this video i am so happy to be able to bring this content to you again i am looking very forward to my trip back tomorrow morning and um, i'm gonna go home get rested up make some dinner and um get ready to do this all again tomorrow for more tips tricks and tutorials for the modern quilter make sure that you subscribe to this channel please i really really appreciate it i am growing my channel learning new things and wanting to share more things with you i have so many many fun things to share with you from this day today so make sure you hit subscribe i love you i'll talk to you soon bye